Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and today I have a tutorial for you to make a paper wallet. So to make this, and I'll leave all the measurements in the down box below because I personally find it really hard to follow these instructions in a voiceover, but you just need some cardstock, or I use some cardstock, um, the pink paper there that measured eight and a half by inches by five and three quarter inches. And I personally rounded the corners, but that's optional. And then I had a piece of patterned paper um, which measured eight and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. And again, I rounded the corners. So to start off with, I'm just popping the patterned paper on top of the pink paper. And um, this is kind of an optional step. You, you wouldn't have to do this if you just wanted to use plain cardstock or a patterned paper. There's no benefit to having the double thickness of paper. I just liked the way that it looked having the kind of edging in pink, but it's totally, totally optional. Um, and again, so is the rounded corners. Some people love a rounded corner, some people, you know, don't love a rounded corner. So definitely up to personal preference. And then you need to score um, that piece. So as you can see, my pink cardstock is actually um, a pattern paper too. It just had pink on one side and I was cheekily just measuring to make sure I had the right <laughs> dimensions in the practice one that I'd run. So you need to score this at three inches and three and three eighth inch inches. Um, so that's for the first fold. So because my cardstock was double thickness, I ran the um, score thing along a couple of times just to get through both um, pieces of paper. If you, you know, if you were using a manual score thing or if you only had one sheet of paper, you wouldn't need to push down as hard as I did. And the second lot of scoring, I scored at six and a half inches and six and seven eighths of an inch. I think, yeah, there we go. Six and seven eighths. So that is for, um, yeah, the main part of the wallet. And then I'm just folding on those score lines. So folding nice and firmly because again, I had those two sheets of pattern paper um, well, there's two sheets of cardstock together and it was quite thick so I'm just making sure I fold quite firmly if you had a bone folder you could definitely use that I do have one but yeah clearly couldn't be bothered getting out so that's what the outside of the wallet looks like so now we're going to move on to the side pieces so I made my side pieces of the wallet sort of concertinaed so to do that you needed two pieces of cardstock I used the same color as my sort of base color um, and that measures two inches by three inches sorry two pieces of cardstock let me start that again three inches by two and seven eighths of an inch again I'll list it down below so you've got all those details and then you have to score every three eighths of an inch I know it sounds confusing but it just makes the concertina so three inches by two inches and seven eighths and then score every three eighths of an inch on the the three inch lengthwise so as you can see I'm just scoring that and I edit this out in a minute so you don't have to watch me score the second piece uh, so for this one, I did make a little mistake and I edited it out of here, but um, I did push down a bit too hard and I cut through um, my scoring, sort of pierced the paper, so I just cut another piece. But um, yeah, you don't need to push quite as hard as I did. So then I'm just concertinaing uh, those side panels. So obviously for my wallet, I've made a concertina at the side just so that it pops open and I can fit lots of goodies inside. So I'm concertinaing both of those pieces. And I'm going to then um, attach them to the side. So to do that, I personally use double-sided tape. I find it the easiest to work with um, because it kind of is an instant stick. But also, um, I think if you had like a snail tape runner or whatever, you could probably use that on here too. But I think um, because they're quite thin, it's only three-eighths of an inch, you know, that fold. It's For me, using the double-sided tape was less fiddly and very effective it sticks immediately um, but also gave me a bit of wiggle room to 
moved things around a bit until I got it in exactly the right place and pushed down. So I personally like it, but whatever glue or whatever adhesive you use is totally fine. So as you can see, I'm just peeling the tape off and then I personally put um, the cut end or the fold end pointing out away from um, the wallet. But as long as you did them both the same, it wouldn't really matter. But obviously um, for me, you know, I wanted the pink cardstock facing out. So that's what I did. I just put um, the folded part um, facing out. Maybe just, I'm a visual learner, so, you know, just watch. Hopefully that's helpful. It was a little fiddly, but um, it wasn't too bad. So I've lined it up with uh, the bottom score, with one of the score lines at the bottom, and it kind of fits perfectly in the middle there. So I'm just putting the tape now on the top, and then I do one at a time. Um, when I'm sticking it down just because it's a little harder um, to to line them both up automatically so I was going to do them at the same time and I do uh, I thought about it um, and then decided that it might be easier to kind of do one at a time and stick them properly down so um, I think depends how coordinated you are <laughs> um, but me you know not so much. So as you can see here, just lining again it up with the score line at the bottom and just pressing it down firmly so that it's completely stuck and then I can do the other side. Because it's concertina, you've got, you know, it's not, you've got room in there to play. So um, it didn't matter too much because I had enough room to get my fingers in and line it up and um, yeah, and it worked well for me. So I'm just sticking that second fold down as so and that is done so that is the bulk of the wallet done now you could do lots of different ways to close the wallet um, I tried a couple of things if you had some magnets that would work really well I personally did a belly band so my belly band it measures one inch by eight inches and then I scored at two inches which I'm just doing now scored at two inches and two and a half inches Just checking my I was just checking my measurements over to the side there so two and a half inches and then I score again at five and five eighths of an inch and six and one eighths of an inch now this is a good indication of the fact that I am Australian if you can't tell um, and we don't use inches <laughs> so I am not as quick uh, when it comes to working out what five and five eighths of an inch is and six and one eighth of an inch so this took me a little longer than it potentially might take the Americans watching out there who work all the time in inches but yes I don't and so for me yes I always have to check and double check my measurements so that's done I'm popping my trimmer slash scorer away and just folding along those score lines um, and then just to make the belly band and so I've just done a very basic um, sort of design of this wallet I haven't decorated it or anything like that and really the world is your oyster you could do whatever you want with this I'm including it as part of happy mail that I am sending uh, to a friend so for me it's matching with a paper purse that I made um, and so yeah I'm really loved how it turned out so I'm just sticking the belly band together very simple nothing rocket science about this and then popping it over the wallet and that is done so that is the belly band there and that's the wallet all closed and you can see that that's the finished product so I'm just showing you some close-ups here so you can see the sides and that's the back and then it opens up and you can fit lots of different goodies inside I've filled mine personally for my friend with die cuts and lots of different things so I'm going to show you now um, that I have made it to fit inside a paper purse that I also made so I'm just bringing that out now this paper purse and I'll put a link in the description box down below to the tutorial I did for that and so you can see that fitting in there so I hope you guys make this I did get inspiration from YouTube so I'll link the original video below and we'll see you next time bye